This is a YouTube video on uh, how to take apart a Leica M6 camera. First you need a couple of tools, um, basic screwdrivers, Phillips heads, um, and then these very important wrenches uh, or clamps if you want to call them. You can get them off of eBay or, or micro tools or something like that. Um, so here's your standard M6. I'm going to first start by taking the base plate off. first item I'm going to move is this rewind knob. Push my tools off to the side here. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is loosen the Phillips head screw that's holding the knob in place. And then what you want to do is stuff a piece of, uh, I'd like to just use a, a piece of paper towel. And underneath, there's inside there's a um, there's a little crank lever for uh, the film to rewind. You can see it's going ca uh, clockwise to rewind the film. To unloosen the screw, you want to go counterclockwise. So you need to hold that in place and then turn it counterclockwise, and it'll come up like so. And the piece inside, I don't know if you can see that or not, but is the, um, the film rewind cranked inside there that I was holding in place while I was unscrewing. I'm just going to put the bottom plate back on. So I'm going to go ahead and just remove the washers that are there. There should be uh, there should be about four washers. Look like so. Uh, three regular washers and one spring washer. Put those aside. I'm going to have a little, little magnet here to hold all of them in place. To the side. And here's the rewind again. And I went counterclockwise to open that. Uh, then I'm going to take a small screwdriver and I'm going to turn the retaining screw that's uh, in the film rewind. Uh, Counterclockwise to open that guy up. That guy's off. Then the next step is you want to remove the uh, screws that are holding the hot shoe in place. The top retaining screw holds the, uh, the, the hot shoe plate in place. And then there's four additional screws that you need to remove. One Phillips head and three regular screws. screws off to the side. I have a little magnet here so I don't lose them. There's the uh, hot shoe. And there's the uh, inside hot shoe assembly. Uh, the next I'm just going to remove this dial. This dial. That's pretty easy. It's just one screw retaining that. Phillips. And then uh, I'm going to go ahead and remove the lever rewind which I will need a uh, clamp or a wrench for. Usually I'd like to advance it once and then hold it in the middle so that I can turn it counterclockwise to open it. And then I'll go ahead and just release the trigger to take it back off. And there should be a spring spring washer in here. 
uh, with the retaining screw on top and the lever. Just that off this. That will reveal underneath uh, another retaining screw uh, for um, the camera, which will need another wrench, like so. And I'm just going to go ahead and remove that as well. Uh, this is the the most tricky bit in terms of taking off uh, your Leica M. Uh, this retaining screw, because the counter is right next to it. Sometimes it's difficult to remove just because it's hard to get a hold of. But once you do, it should it should be relatively easy. Okay. And if you need a little bit more control on that, you can always use uh, some tape. And these wrenches are nice because they're made out of a very soft copper and uh, there's very little chance you're going to end up marring your camera because of it. Uh, okay, well, I guess you could do that. Like I said, this is the trickiest bit. I'm trying to get here. what that ring looks like. That's the hardest part. The next part, I'm just going to go ahead and remove that flash sink from the back. Put something underneath it to, to hold it in place. And all you need to do with that is go ahead and turn it with the wrench counterclockwise. It should be relatively easy to do. Um, the inside, this is a retaining ring. Inside, you have a little screw um, with the sink, and that you can use a piece of tape or something rubbery to hold it in place, and just kind of give it a little counterclockwise motion, and that should come off pretty easily. And here it is with the sink. That's what it looks like. Take that off, put it off to the side, and now uh, you're ready to go ahead and unveil the insides of the camera, just lift it out slowly, and voila, there is your top plate off. You don't need to go ahead and remove the uh, eyepieces either, uh, it comes off. There's the range finder right there, at the back of the range finder right here. Um, additionally, I'm going to go ahead and, and do one little thing uh, on this M6, vertical alignment. And to do that, I've uh, made a special tool uh, right here. This is just a standard 2 millimeter screwdriver, which I've notched on one side, if, if you can see that. Uh, don't know if that focused, but there's the notch. It fits into this hole, uh, and there's kind of a, a sideways U here in the assembly, right there. Uh, where you go and adjust it back and for, uh, up and down, clockwise, counterclockwise, to adjust the um, vertical height on the M6. So that's it. Thanks a lot for watching.